If you've ever been asked to review a Word document and you find that changes are needed, there's actually a quick and easy way to make those changes directly in the document itself by using the Track Changes feature. To use this feature, simply click on the Review tab here at the top of the document. See where it says Review? Click on that tab, and now you'll see a menu of options. Once you reach that menu, click on the icon that shows a pen and paper and says Track Changes underneath it. Here's the icon, and there's the pen and paper. Once you click it, you'll notice that the icon actually turns a darker shade of gray. That indicates that the feature has been activated. At this point, any changes you make to the document will be color-coded and the changes will continue to be tracked until you click on the icon again to turn it off. So let's take a look at how the feature actually works. For instance, let's say we want to delete two words from this text. Let's say we want to delete the one and two. It would simply highlight those two words. And then I actually click delete on the keyboard. As you see, the deleted text does not actually disappear. Instead, it simply gets crossed out. And if I wanted to add new text, I could simply press the space bar and put in the number 4, comma 5, and a period. As you see, the added text actually gets underlined. Doing it this way actually gives you the opportunity to see all of your edits before choosing to make the edits permanent. So let's see if we want to make any other changes. Instead of saying this is only a short test, Perhaps I'd like to make that this is a brief test. So again, I would highlight whatever word I want to change and then actually start typing. Brief. As you see, the changes have been made and the old text still remains in place. Now, once you send your revisions to the next person, he or she will quickly be able to see the changes that were made. And at that point, the individual can either accept or reject those changes by clicking the accept or reject icons under the review tab. Again, here's the review tab. Here are your options and you see accept, which is a bigger icon and then an X off to the right, which allows you to reject the changes. So if you were the one receiving this document, you would open it and see these changes. And let's say you actually like one and two. You could highlight that and click the X to actually reject that change. So now one and two is back in black text. And if you like four and five removed as well, you click the X again. And now you just have testing, testing one, two. This is only a brief test. 
can remain the same. So the person doing the review could actually accept that next change by clicking accept. And you click accept again to keep brief. And that's basically it. Now at this point, the individual reviewing the changes might actually have a few comments to make to the original editor. If that's the case, the comment can be added by simply highlighting the text on which you'd like to comment and click on the new comment icon under the review tab. So we're still under the review tab. Here is the new comment icon. Now as you see, there's still a little small piece here highlighted. And it appears to be a change that we didn't deal with. So if the new person that's editing this text wants to make a comment about that, he or she can click on new comment and type, please remove this. As you see, the comment box appears off to the side, and you type directly within the box. Once you're done with the comment, you can close it easily by either pushing the escape button on your keyboard, and you see how that actually closed the box up. Or you can press anywhere outside of the comment box. Comments can easily be deleted by using the delete feature directly next to the comment icon under the review tab. So let's say you actually don't want to send this comment. You could put in your cursor inside of the box once more. Go up to the review tab. Next to the comment icon, there's delete. And click delete the comment. So now that brings you back to the document as is. And that's a quick overview of how to use track changes and the comment features in Word 2016.